this is not like my other videos it has nothing to do with dry fire or practice last summer I got into cigars and I liked them so much that I was not going to be stopped by the winter so I had learned that people use these ice fishing shelters as their own little cigar lounge during the winter months and this is what I did I was so satisfied with it that I wanted to make a video because I remember when I was getting into it uh, I reviewed a lot of videos of people doing the same thing and hopefully this is just one more video that will help somebody else out next year I live outside of Atkinson Illinois you can look up the location on a map to compare it to weather conditions in your area I put this up in November uh, the time of the video is February I actually took these images most of the images that you see today uh, on February 11th as you can see I have it very close to the house the idea behind that was to put it on the east side of the house trying to protect it from the cold north uh, the cold winds from the northwest and it seemed to work out pretty well <clears throat> We live out in the country, and uh, from what you can tell, it can get pretty windy out here. Uh, right now, we're facing east, and at the beginning of winter, we got some uh, really strong winds directly from the east, which I was not expecting. I and uh, the, the tent held up great. Here, we'll do a quick walk around. And then I will have still pictures explaining to uh, what each one of these uh, things of focus are. Uh, the center blocks, the tie downs. Um, this will just be a quick little walk around. Uh, and then there will be still images where I'm explaining what each thing is. And yes, I just throw the cigar nubs outside the window or the door whenever they're they're done. Uh, this summer we'll run them over with a lawnmower. If you're not familiar with ice fishing shelters, they do not have a floor. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to fish. So, the bottom of it is just open. And looking at the picture there, uh, those little black plastic flaps fold out. And that's what you use to stake it down. Um, I use center blocks going all the way around it. Two on each side. And... For the stakes, I didn't use the stakes that come with it. The stakes that come with them are for ice, and it's not going to work very well in dirt. So I went out and got uh, several dog leash corkscrew stakes, and I used those on all four corners, and I also got big 
heavy duty washers to kind of spread out the, uh, the, the, the force, I guess. Um, the hubs, the, where the walls are pulled out, uh, that's what makes it rigid. And you're supposed to stake those down. And I also used those dog leash corkscrews to tie those down. But I used tie down straps from the stake to the tin itself. I put it up so close to the house again to try to help protect it from the wind. So on the back side here, uh, I, I didn't stake it down at all. Uh, on the hub anyway. The two corners there are staked down, but uh, I have nothing tied to the hub, uh, which is the center of the wall there. Um, and I had no issues. I had a couple times that I was a little concerned, but uh, it never popped it in. And um, it's held up. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's check out the inside. All right, uh, the door, as you can see, it, it, uh, it zips open. Uh, I've only had one time that it froze, but I was still able to get into it. Uh, pretty heavy duty zippers, pretty satisfied with them. Uh, very spacious inside. Uh, very comfortable. Spent below zero temperatures out there with that little heater, and I, I, I didn't feel the wind. Um, the thing has stood up to some wind. Um, here we had an incident where we had some heavy winds and snow, and I just didn't have the window closed right, and it ended up <clears throat> coming in. Of course, make a table out of anything you want. Uh, to hold your ashtray, your, your cigar, and of course your whiskey. Now this little heater, uh, use any heater you want. Uh, run a drop cord and use electric or I use the propane and I go through some tanks but uh, it'll hold the heat in there pretty well. And then your entertainment, uh, a little DVD player, works great. Now here in a minute it's going to pan around and look at that window that you saw all the snow and you'll see how it came in. Those little plastic windows are just velcroed on. And, um, they, they don't fit perfect, but uh, uh, you can get it just right enough, if that makes any sense at all. It does not. I'm not redoing this. Let's talk about the floor. The floor in this, like I said before, it was completely open because it's an ice, ice fishing shelter. And uh, I didn't want the exposed grass because then you're going to get that uh, wet grass smell coming up inside of the tent. So I took some uh, plywood strips uh, for the flooring and then got some uh, uh, fake turf stuff as carpeting and I haven't had any issues with it being uh, soggy in there from the snow melting or anything. And to keep the moisture down uh, I have a whole bunch of those moisture absorbing packs in there. Uh, I don't know where you can get them. I get them for free from work. Uh, we just throw them out after we open the boxes and I don't throw them away. I keep them and take them home. Um, so I just throw them in there and haven't had any trouble with moisture. The, the vents, uh, you want a, van, uh, a fan. I have a little handheld fan because you are going to hotbox this thing. And uh, there's been a few times where I had to open up a window or open up the door and, and let the, the, the wind uh, blow it out. But uh, with everything closed and the vents open, the uh, if the wind is blowing just right, it will suck out all that smoke. But uh, not every time. So you're going to want a little handheld fan that you use to just uh, blow the smoke out. Now here is uh, the kit that I take out there with me, a uh, little leather case to carry everything, um, and then arrows will start popping up. Lantern, it's going to get dark. You're going to want a uh, lantern for light. A fan, that's the fan I was talking about, cheap little handheld fan, works great. 
of course your punch and cutters uh, however you cut your cigar a little flash flashlight that goes around your neck comes in very handy out there and that's uh, the perfect draw uh, punch tool uh, cigar stand comes in handy whenever you got to open up a window or something you can set your cigar and then any type of cigar carrier so you don't damage the cigar while you're heading out there and then of course the lighter um, and obviously the whiskey and then the DVD player very enjoyable enjoy